Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Wonder Woman, the 75th anniversary special, uh, issue one, though, because it's a one shot. <laughs> but before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple of updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know, episode 167, and that show will review all the comics I read this week in one show. So if you want to go check that out, that is annotated, and the exclusive comics for that show are in the description below. But let's start talking about Wonder Woman, the 75th anniversary special, issue one. So I got this because, I mean, we have to celebrate. Wonder Woman, 75 years, that's awesome, uh, but it is a uh, pretty, pretty hefty price tag there, $8, but you are getting a lot of stuff here, and you get the, that little golden type, uh, nice feel cover, shiny cover, which is always nice that DC does that when you do pay a little extra, extra for their books, but let's see what's going on, um, I don't know if I'm gonna really talk about every story, because there's a lot of stories here, but... Just to give an overall aspect, what is this book? It's not like a graphic novel. It's not one story. It's all these short stories, some covers, some nice little um, words in the middle uh, about Wonder Woman. Uh, and that's it. It's just a short story type thing. and It's an anthology book. And for me, I personally don't like those type of stories as much because it's harder, as a reviewer, it's harder to rate because there might be stories uh, that you really like, but then there's another story that's like, oh, that was kind of boring. So you get a mixed bag. That's why I don't really like those type of stories as much, but it's understandable why they went that route to celebrate her 75th anniversary. Uh, but yeah, the artwork uh, for a lot of these stories were gorgeous, really like the art style, uh, and it, it brings different facet, uh, facets of Wonder Woman, you know, the caring part, the, the love, the what does this character represent, I think the stories did pretty well at doing. Um, I won't say there was a story that really hooked me, the only one that I thought was really original was, uh, I think it was uh, written by Greg Rucka, the, and um, Liam Sharp did... Liam Sharp did the artwork, who's the current artist, or one of the current artists on the book, and it was Lois Lane uh, having a conversation with uh, Wonder Woman, it was all like a journalist magazine style, and I thought that was pretty unique, and I like the, the small like pin-up covers you get in the middle after like every story or so, so I thought that was cool. So there's a lot of stuff here, so if you're a huge Wonder Woman fan, I recommend it. If you're not and you're trying to save your money, I don't know if the, all the stories were worth $8, but if you get this for a cheaper price, uh, I do recommend it. Um, just because it is celebrating, again, a, a great character. So Wonder Woman, the 75th anniversary special issue one for me, gets two and a half stars. I didn't really enjoy a lot of the stories, but I'm glad it's in my collection, just again, to celebrate how many years Wonder Woman has been in print. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.